guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a bit different. Um, you have seen me discuss like decorate with me, clean with me, organize with me, declutter or put away my laundry with me, clean up my house, my house is out of control, blah, blah, blah. What you have seen also though, on the other hand, is shop with me's, hauls, um, look at all these cool things I got, you know, and you see me shopping, trying on new clothes, things like that, and all of a sudden it dawned on me somewhat by necessity for change in my house because I needed usable spaces for different things and Eleanor needing a big girl bed, not a you know crib anymore because she's 21 months old and started jumping out. Um, but her bed had to be changed and then all of a sudden it just like, my office got a remodel and now it has dawned on me. I don't like crap in my house. I don't want clutter. I will still go to Dollar Tree. I will still hit the Target dollar spot, but it's like, I've been watching these minimal moms, um, the minimal mo uh, mom on YouTube. I've been watching Natalie Bennett vlogs. I've been watching uh, people who talk about decluttering and it's sounding more and more appealing. Um, Candace, what's her name? Is it Candace? A Simple Life, I think is what her YouTube is. Anyway, she used to be like a beauty YouTuber and had like an entire room full of beauty crap. And then she was just like, I don't need this. And it, it has totally changed me. Um, I have gotten rid of like 20% of what we own, which is not that much. I am nowhere near a minimalist. I still like things. I still have duplicates of things in my house. I still have this for winter and that for fall. I still like seasonal decor. Um, and I'm sure I still have things that, you know, a minimalist would say, oh my gosh, whatever. But I've started to get it, you know, over the last few months, especially when I have to do these declutters and clear outs, like my pantry. And then like two months later, I'm like, gosh, I need to do it again. Why is that? And it's like, because you keep buying crap. So I always thought as a kid that, or, you know, as a young adult, that if you had money, you buy things and then it looks like you have money and you have nice things, you have things and it's awesome, you know, more things better. That means you have great money and you're in a good financial situation because you're free to buy things. And then I realized like rich people's houses, like in my mind, what rich is, you know, it's changed since I was a child, but those are the people who have like these nice sophisticated houses that are very minimalist and somehow still cozy, but you know, no plastic, less crap. And they just, they have nice things. And I started changing my mindset, you know, watching these YouTube channels that I didn't set out to watch. They kind of like came into my YouTube feed and I, people I watch that used to do different kind of content all of a sudden started doing minimalist um, content. And I just realized like, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to be somebody who has all this crap. And so um, I like, what is her name? Dawn, uh, the slob comes clean. And uh, her philosophy of the container method it really hit me. And she mentioned, I think it was pencils or pens, maybe the container method where she was like, you can have everything or what is it? You can keep anything, but you can't keep everything. And I kept reciting that you can keep anything, but you can't keep everything. And you define a container for whatever it is. So this bucket is where all my pens are going to live. I really like pens. And when that bucket gets too full, or when it becomes less functional, where anytime I take a pen out, they all shift around and I, you know, two come out when I try to pull out one, then that means that it's no longer fitting in the container and it's time to declutter. I have started implementing this in other areas and I'm like, oh my gosh. So it's like, sorry, if you hear my dog, she's like going to town playing with a tennis ball over there and like living her best life and I don't want to ruin that. <laughs> she's getting older. She's um, hmm, seven or eight now and she's, sometimes she's just randomly playful. <laughs> I just never know when that's going to be. So it's now. The answer is now. Anyway, um, so if you need a little push in the right direction as far as minimalists go, not that that's the right direction, but a push in the direction of minimalism, you need a little, um, you know, encouragement. Let me tell you this. Since I got rid of things, I got rid of three of the four high chairs in my house. I know, four high chairs in your house, girl. What? We had two downstairs, we had one outside and one inside. Now we're in a booster seat. We just have one outside. Um, I've donated most of this. You know, I have a Facebook group that I give things to um, locally. I give things to family members if they're in need. Um, as the kids grow out of clothes, you know, I hold it up and say, well, this is an 18-month size. It's too small for my 21-month-old. 
Do I have any family members who could use it? Is it special to me enough to keep it? If not, it goes, right? But even for my four-year-old where she grows out of something, let's say it's a 3T or 4T shirt, and I do have another girl that I'm like, oh, she could wear that in a year or two. But the question is, is it in good enough condition? Do I like it? Is it something that I would purchase again? Is it serving me? Is it functional? Do I have a million other ones like it? Is it worth storing for two or three years until baby sister can wear it? If the answer to any of those is no, I get rid of it. It is so freeing. I have, sorry for the dog, I have a constant um, box of stuff in my, my car's trunk for Goodwill and for donating and for getting rid of. And we are filling up our trash can. You think you've already done a room. I think I already did my, oh, dog, I already did my office in April. Like I took everything out and decluttered. And here I am. I could go in here today with a trash bag and fill it with stuff that I don't need or don't want. And, you know, maybe it's not trash. Maybe it's donate. But the point is, it, it sneaks up on you. And, you know, when you look at it a new day, you may think you're done and everything fits in the container. And you ask yourself, you know, is it bringing me joy like Marie Kondo or something? And the answer is yes. And then you put it away. One month from now, the answer might be no. And so... I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a boost if you think you are like kind of interested in trying minimalism or decluttering, downsizing, even if you really don't need to and you have space for all the things. Like I have a very large house. My house is like, you know, over 4,000 square feet. It's big. I have space for anything. I have space for everything, but I don't want to live that way. I like having bare walls. I like having walkways. I don't want to have my house be wall-to-wall -wall furniture anymore. I, I find joy in the natural light coming in and just like shining on my carpet. I'm like, oh, hey, there's carpet there. You know, I moved the bed and I was like, oh, what can I put there? And then I'm like, no, you don't need it. Ah, that dog with the pink tennis ball. Um, anyway, I hope this was, I don't know what I hope it was for you, but a little boost to make you to encourage you to take the leap if you've been thinking about it. And remember, you don't have to do it all at once. You can pick a project and it can be a single drawer in your house, like my desk drawer. Maybe you have a junk drawer or maybe it's um, every load of laundry that you do for your kids and for yourself. Before you put the clothes away, you evaluate every piece that you take out of the load. Is this bringing me joy? Is it serving me? Do I like it? Have we outgrown it? Is it worn? Is it tattered? Whatever get rid of it. Maybe tomorrow it's underneath the bathroom sink. Maybe the next day it's the spatula drawer. Why do you have five slotted spoons? Why do you have three peelers? Do you really need three? You know, um, and you can put things in quarantine. This is another thing I've learned recently. Um, you can have a quarantine bin where you say, I don't need three vegetable peelers. I definitely want two because sometimes my husband will help me meal, peel the potatoes on Thanksgiving. So I definitely want two, but I can never see myself wanting three. You know what I'll do? Put it in a box. Put that third peeler in this box, you know, safely. And then say, that stupid dog. You see why I don't film? Um, hi, Penny. See why I don't film? You put it in the box, put it in quarantine. If you don't remember about, think about it, you don't need it for the next six months, get rid of it. Put it in a box, label it like quarantine then. The word quarantine, oh my gosh, people didn't used to know that word. Now we know that word. We definitely know that word. Um, but anyway, have a place that you put things that you don't think you need anymore, but you're like afraid to get rid of. And then put a date on it. Put a little piece of, a sticker, a piece of tape that says, on July 1st, if I haven't touched these things, then I'm going to get rid of it. Um, you can even make a post-it and put it on the outside that says, like, here are the 10 things in this box and put it in a donatable container. Like, this is a cardboard box that I'm just going to take the whole thing to Goodwill and drop it off or, you know, whatever, Salvation Army or something. Um, think about asking people you know if they know anybody who needs it. Like, I personally don't know anybody who's pregnant right now, but my sister might, my, you know what I mean, my mom might. And so I can say, like, do you know anybody who might want a crib right now? Because we're getting rid of a crib um, very soon, or we have a high chair that we're getting rid of, and I hate to just send it in bulk trash or put it in the dump, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. And my mom might be like, oh, my coworker, her daughter just had a baby or is about to have a baby. I bet you they would love it. So, you know, it's just about, it's not even like environmentalist thing. This isn't a, uh, you know, an issue thing. It is a, I want my house back. 
and I have done this with the kids' clothes. I have hit every toy box, every toy bin, every closet in my house in the last like two months, and I might get rid of one item, and I might get rid of like two trash, bag, trash bags worth of items. I got rid of a ton from the dress-up closet. The girls like their dress-up closet better. They like their toys in their toy box more. They've been playing better. They've been playing more creatively, and they still have so many toys. They each have their own bedroom upstairs, and they have a playroom, and they have toys in the coffee table in the living room. Downstairs, they have a bedroom, a playroom, and toys in the living room, all in one house. We do not need so many toys. And we had duplicates. I have Legos upstairs. We have Legos downstairs. I have Duplos and Mega Box and Big Kid Legos and Small Wooden Box and the Big Melissa and Doug Wooden Box. So they might not be exact duplicates, but I know myself, I don't need them all. And my kids will not miss them. So in my quarantine bin right now, I'm thinking Mega Box maybe or Duplos. Like pick one, you know. And then maybe a month from now, I'm like, gosh, they haven't played with either. Boom gone and I know that one of my girlfriend's kids with toddler would probably love those little Legos so if you're thinking about it if you're I just feel so good and I want you guys to feel as good as I feel about having my house back like I said my house is fine look like you wouldn't know it like there's nothing wrong with it you know I I like my house and it's great but I like it a lot better without crap everywhere so like, I always have projects. This is my desk drawer. Like, it needs to go, okay? I get it. Um, so I just want you guys to feel like you can do it too. So um, if you guys wanna chat in the comments, talk about your accomplishments, or you know, if this inspired you to empty even one drawer in your house where you had trouble closing it before, you had to press it down before you could get the drawer to close with the dishcloths or whatever it is, let's chat. I hope this inspired you to consider more of a minimalistic lifestyle, even though you may not be a minimalist like I am not. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.